Hello and welcome back. I'm your host, Shannon Moore, and today I'm going to be working on a couple of little knickknacks to put around the house. I've got some old Bath & Body Works candles, and here I'm just showing you how I clean them out so I can use them as decoration. I put them in the oven on 350. I leave them in there for about 20 minutes. And here I used an old jug that was empty. I cut the top off of it. And when all the wax was melted out of the candle jars, I poured it into the container. And then I threw it away later. Be careful with handling the candle holders. They are hot, coming fresh out of the oven. So I used a oven mitt while pulling these out. I went in with a paper towel and wiped out the inside. And surprisingly enough, this cleans the candle jars well enough so I don't have to like wash them or anything. And it's important to clean them out right away so that the wax doesn't dry all over again. And you need to be able to wipe out those wick holders. I set them to the side, let them cool off, and then I took them outside and gave them a nice even coat of my rose gold metallic paint. Now these I got from the Dollar Tree, the tall ones, I got those tall bases from the Dollar Tree. I wrapped them in the frog tape. Guys, I swear by this frog tape, it makes the ends nice and even. I had a little bit of a flubber on one of them, but that was because it was very windy and I was a little heavy handed with the spray. So here I'm just applying my bling wrap to the middle of the jar and having a good time with my family as you can see. We're just laughing it up. These brooches I got from the flea market when we first got to Georgia we went out to visit the flea market and they had them three packs for five dollars and two brooches came in one so I ended up with six of them. I just used my scissors, I popped off the clip off the back and then I'm going to use these as an embellishment and attach them to my jar right on top of the blink ribbon. And let me just say guys, I want to apologize for the birds in the background. I'm sitting outside, it's such a nice day out here while I'm doing my voiceovers and the birds are so disrespectful. I went in with my medium sized flat back gems and I dressed up the bling ribbon along the edge, the top edge and the bottom edge of the bling ribbon. I took some single strands of my bling ribbon and went up the front and up the bottom of my glass base and then I used my smallest flat back gems and placed those at the ends of my single strands of bling wrap. I got this greenery from the Dollar Tree. I thought it was pretty. I believe it's called Fern. Yeah, Fern. So I'm going to be using that as well as these white flowers, I cannot pronounce that, <laughs> but they're pretty. So I'm gonna be using those to dress up the inside of my jars. 
I also got this foam cylinder from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna be using this to stuff down inside of my vase to put the flowers inside the vase. So I'm just gonna cut it in half because it's too big on the top end. As you can see, the bottom end is a little smaller than the top. So I'm just gonna cut off the top portion and only use the bottom half inside my jars. I'm gonna push these down inside the vases and apply lots of pressure so I can push it down as far as it will go. And then I will put my flowers, I'll arrange my flowers on the inside. And this is what I came up with. I love it, it's super pretty, very blingy. You guys know I love my bling. Love how it sparkles when the light hits it. And the floral arrangement turned out really nice. So I'm satisfied with that. And I'm gonna repeat this process to the second one. My candle jars are completely dry and I decided to use these as desk decoration for my mom on her job instead of around the house. Um, I bought this candle holder from the Dollar Tree. It's the tallest one, they usually come in three sizes so I got the tallest one available. And I used my large flat back gems to decorate the bottom and the medium size one to go all the way up the stem. And this is where the decorating begins. All the fun part, you guys. Tap into your innovation, be creative, and have fun with it. I used my bling ribbon to decorate these. I used my fix all glue to attach the tall candle holder inside of the candle jar. So I just put a little bit on the bottom of it. And then I also use a little, a little bit of hot glue um, on the bottom of the tall candle holder. And then I stuck it down inside of my jar. I tried to get this as centered as possible. I didn't want it to look lopsided, so I just took my time um, and moved it to where it was centered the best. This is why I didn't use a lot of hot glue because it would attach too fast for me to move it if I needed to. Now that I've got an idea of what I want to do with the second one, I'm tapping into my creativity and I am having fun with it. This process was a little difficult because I was trying to get them as straight as possible. Um, and without any guideline, I just had to eyeball it. So that made it a little hard, but I still love how it turned out. Now I'm going to attach my second one to the top of the candle holder that I put inside of the candle jar. I'm using these decorative fillers. It's crushed glass and it's rose gold colored. It was $6 in Michaels and I used my 40% off coupon. So I'm just gonna fill up this top portion of the candle holder. Make sure it's nice and flat. Fill it up as much as possible, but 
not so that it will interfere with the top. I used my Fix All adhesive glue and put it on the top of the candle holder. And then I set my second jar right on top of that and gave that time to adhere before I touched it or moved it again. Be careful here to make sure that it's centered. You don't want it to be off-centered or wobbly looking. So take your time. I applied a little bit of hot glue underneath the bottom once I got it where it wanted it to be, just so we could hold it still while the Fix-All glue adhered. And this is what I got. And this is the finished product. I absolutely love it. It came out beautiful. And again, it's just sparkling away. I mean, you can't lose with the sparkle. You just can't. She, my mom mentioned that she wanted something that she can keep her large and small paper clips in, but she wanted them separated. So that is what I hope that she will use this for. And I can't wait for her to see these projects when she get home. I'm sure she's going to love them. I love them. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today. Like, subscribe, and share. God is love. Good night.